So hemp is an awesome thing, right? Hemp clothes, hemp seeds, hemp protein, hemp headbands, hemp everything, right? Super awesome, durable, lightweight, doesn't really smell like much. So we're going to learn how to make hemp bracelets today. So without any further ado, let's get into my um, excellent voiceover using this very mic, Blue Yeti. I hope you enjoy it. Let's start with some materials, hemp, scissors, and a little bit of tape. You can pick as many colors as you want. For thicker bracelets, use more hemp. For thinner ones, use less hemp. Now cut two pieces of hemp 12 to 18 inches long. I have small wrists, so I'm going to cut them around 14 inches. And then we'll slide one up so it's about three inches longer than the other. Then you'll tape it to a place that will leave you with a little bit of an incline. Don't forget the bottom part, you need to tape that as well. I use two colors to make a bracelet of this thickness. For this one, I will use a teal and a brown. This is important. Unspool three to five feet of each color. If you're a perfectionist, you can join the two like that and pull them all the way to the end. And unspool that a little bit more. And snip it right there. Now you have two the same length. Take your longer hemp and place it underneath the one you've already taped, and find the center point. A very important step. Now I've gone ahead and done the first few, but you see that little nub there? Whatever side that nub is on is the side you'll want to start on, and I'll explain that in a few minutes. So I'm looping the right side over top of the center, and then I'm taking the left side and putting it over top of the right side, and then underneath the center, and then I'm pulling it back over the top of the right side. Now I'll do this a few times so you can pick it up, and I'll fast forward the next few bits so you can see it done in action. So now the nub is on the left side, so that means I will loop over the left side over the center. The right side will go over top of the left side, underneath the center, and back over top of the left side. It sounds complicated, but it's really quite straightforward once you understand it. doing this and both strings don't get pulled evenly, you can just choose one individually and give it a yank. Once again, left side goes over top of the center, right side goes over top of the left side, and then underneath the center, and then give it a nice yank back over top of the left side. If your bracelet isn't long enough and you've run out of hemp, just give it a pull. A good way to tell if your bracelet is done, put your wrist near it and look for about an inch or so on each side. Total length is probably 3 to 5 inches. Now you notice you have all this extra hemp everywhere. Well that's easy to fix, don't panic. Get some scissors and start trimming. I know I just immediately cut the center one, but save the center for last. If you've made it this far, only trim the shortest length of string on each end. Not both of them, or you'll have to restart. Now go back to your spool and get those two same colors, but in a 14 inch length. I've sped this up a little bit, but we'll do the same process. Find the center point. It's going to be a little bit more tedious because we don't have tape on our side this time. So we'll loop over the top of the center, loop over the top of the right side, go under the center, and then back over the left side. And we'll just continue until we're finished. I think you'll want a length of about three quarters of an inch on this little part here. Don't forget to break out the old scissors. And we want to be even here, so let's get trimming. 
Now listen here, boy, you'll want to tighten it here so it's easier on the next step. I want to take one of the pulley things and tie a knot in it or two on each one. Looks like our time is up, folks. Well, until further news, I shall talk to you later. Goodbye.